Hey everybody, it is Zach here from the Ed Boys. Welcome to episode 13 of The Road to PVM God. It has been a while since I've had to record one of these intros, but for that reason, I promise you, we are going to get a lot of stuff knocked off the PVM goals list, and we're going to get some brand new content in this one, starting with this drop right here. But, oh, I got the brutal key! Hold on a second. Yes! <laughs> oh, that feels good. We got it, boys. Didn't take too long. Whew, let's go ahead and unlock the door. So far, my kills have not been too clean. This is only my fourth. Let me see it. Kill number four. Granite gloves. What? This is one of his uniques, right? That is, that is great. Granite gloves. Oh, I don't really know that much about these granite gloves. Apparently, they're about 64k right now in the GE. This no, this is my GE price. Give me. What does OS Buddy say they're at at the moment? Dragon two-hand sword! Yes! This is the most excited I will likely ever be for a dragon two-hand sword. And you want to know why, for one of his last kill of the trips, it's perfect time to get out of here. For two, don't have one from Vedian yet, so I can knock that off the list. Now I only need the uh, the pickaxe and the pet. Apparently, 136 Vedians. This is a pretty good chance we got a ways to go for the pet and many more of these swords. But uh, I'll take it. First dragon two-hand from Vedian. Hopefully, <laughs> hopefully no more, right? Dragon pickaxe. Oh my gosh. I I have to thank Timmy so much right now. I I am so mind blown. <laughs> Three mil drop. Another item off of Vedian's PVM goals list on the nights. Oh my gosh. I the reason I have to thank Timmy is because Timmy hosted me like 30 minutes ago and uh, I decided to do an extra Vedian trip because of it and now we, we get the dragon pickaxe. I I can't believe it. That is great. Awesome. Now I only need the pet. Vedian is purely a pet hunt from now on for me. That's not great either. You don't get enough kills here for that to be alright. Oh an ancient staff. Fourth highlighted drop in a row, though. And a longbone? Oh, rest in peace! No! Oh, this is a remotely rare trip right now. Longbone, four different highlighted drops. Uh, making some decent cash, but oh. Oh, that longbone. I want to see it. One in four hundo. Longbone! Why would I get a long one here? I already got a long one at Vedian's a night. And I, it's four times as rare as a dragon defender. Wow. Teleblock? Oh, no. First PK of the night? Bro. Oh, I got a teleblock on me. Never mind. Okay, hold on. Still working on it. I've got a decent amount of loot on me right now, so this is a remotely important one to get away from. Thanks for the one on the ballista. Alright, this guy's early teleblock got me better than I thought it would. Oh, that's it, fellas. He's gonna get me. Oh my god. That was a lengthy PK attempt. Got my magic seed. Why don't I keep this over? Oh, I could just kept that over my dwarf helm. Alright, that's unfortunate. Finally got PK'd on the night. Uh, on the last trip, too. Went six hours, saw one PKer, and he got me. Dragon Axe! Yes! The most exciting Dragon Axe of the series! Maybe. We got one more to go. But that is my first from uh, from Supreme. Now I only have to get a Dragon Axe from from Prime and the, the only drops that I need at all on this, uh, this, this series for DKs would be the pets. So, Dragon Axe, not very expensive, but the first one from Supreme. I'm happy about it. 
Come on, Vidian. Ooh, Dragon Two Hand. Oh, hey, the price in the chat looks pretty. One three four, one three four. I have not seen a unique of any kind from him in a while, so I don't know. I guess I'll take it. The price is the prettiest part, though. It's my life. Oh, Granite Hammer! I got a Granite Hammer! <laughs> all right, all right. Second unique. This one's actually worth some decent cash, too. I, I thought it was a granite mall at first. I'm not even going to lie. I was not that excited. But, um, granite hammer. Second unique from the gargoyles. Now I've gotten the gloves. I've gotten the hammer. I haven't even made a graphic for them yet, but I got to get it done. Nice. I'll take it. It's one of the, one of the more expensive drops I could have gotten. Oh, we got a uh, Varix plate skirt. I, I almost said guff guff. Varex plate skirt, about a mill chest. Got an item on chest 12, 112. I didn't actually think I was getting anything yet. I'll take it. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, DQ made it. He's a resourceful one. I got KBD heads! Yes! <laughs> oh my god. This has been an awesome mass. I love it. Fellas, I got me some KBD heads. Is this the third pair of KBD heads? For uh, everybody combined? That is. Oh my god. That was a long master clue. Number 32, career master clue. <sighs> Let's just open it up. Um, I'm hoping for a bloodhound. If it's a, a, if it's some sort of cash that ends with an M, I would be okay with that too. Let's just see it. Three, two, one. Mr. Master Casket. Oh. Uh, this is Master Casket number 33 coming in hot. This was actually a remotely quick casket. I think it was only, I think it was seven steps, but it was like three foul of the bard. Too hot and colds, but the second one went very fast. The first one, you know, could have been worse. But, uh, Master Casket number 33, if I'm not mistaken. Here we go. Please, give me something nice. Three, two, one. Wow. I think this might be my first clip of this series with a max cape. Uh, I'm about to start Dragon Slayer 2. It's the last quest that I need to do before getting my quest cape back. Also, completing Dragon Slayer 2 will allow me to grind out some Vorkath, which no doubt is going to be on the PVM goals. Here we go. First attempt at Vorkath. It's just quest cath, so it shouldn't be as terrible, but... I don't know what the hell I'm doing, so here we go. Okay, this is the shit where I really have not had any practice on it. Woo, see what I mean? Yeah, buddy. Quest Cath killed, thank you very much. I don't know what to do with him though. Damage, please. There it is. Kill number two. Oh, it took long enough. I think that one's a personal best, right? Oh, yes! KC2 Vorkath head. No way. Oh, no, dude. That is... Oh, that's awesome. Oh, I'm so much happier about this right now. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I, I did get the PB at 225. 318 was my first kill, so... Second kill, uh, 225, not too bad, not too bad at all. And then, um, I don't even care about the other drops. Vorkath head, now I have, uh, now I have my assembler, which is absolutely beautiful. Alright, ma'am, I think I got what you wanted. Yes, there we go. Now I got my very first Ava's assembler. Uh, this is not only f twice the, why would I, why would I price check it? What was the point of price checking? Not only is this twice the, the offensive range boost that a regular... Assembler? No, excuse me. What was the one I just turned in? The Accumulator. The Accumulator is plus 4 range. This one's plus 8. This also gives a range strength bonus of how much? 105 to 107 plus 2, which you get none from the last one. That's not too bad. But the biggest thing here is I would like to attach this one on my max capes quick, if you don't mind. And get the most beautiful cape in the game. Maybe. Ooh, come on! Oh, 201! Well, I got my first sub two minute kill, and I forgot to record it. I bet you this is not a clip that you expected to see. 
Uh, about to finish up my Elite Void. I actually, I do have both my range and my melee helm. Uh, even though eventually I really only plan on using the range in the moment, having the melee helm. Well, for right now is going to be good, and in the future I can use it. But I finally got my Void done here. Uh, I'm about to finish up a Kandarin, uh, no, 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 what is this? This is a Western Province Elite Diary I think I'm about to do, put on the rest of my Void. And mainly now, this is, as far as I'm aware, this is best in slot at Vorkath currently. Uh, just for, for some good DPS, so hey, either way, I finally got my Void done. Thank you, holy crap. No, not this thing. I'm not ready for this thing. I don't know if they fixed it where it won't damage you. Oh, I just got another Vorkath head, hell yeah. No way. Head number two on KC15. Nice. Nice. I put these three clue parts together and we get a casket. What? What? All right, here we go. Master clue number 37. Open it up in three, two, one. Mmm, 233k, we get the Guth Guth page, how convenient, due to this being the last clue here, that is the last step of the clue. Wow, that is rough, that was, that was a long time for nothing. Hey, we got some diamonds, oh, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Nothing. Ah, uh, I don't really need that right now. Diamonds and Dragonstones, huh? Hey, oh! Minute and 14 second new PB. What a kill! Damn! Okay. Okay. Not bad, dude. Minute 14 second. That's easily my closest attempt at a, at a sub minute kill. And there it is. Here comes KC number 100. What do you got for me? Uh, you know what? That's not a bad drop. Couple highlights. It was a slow kill, but whatever. It happens. Yeah, buddy. Check this trip out. This is uh, my first four kill trip. In fact, this is my first three kill trip too. So <laughs> that was kind of unusual. So here's what my Vorkath tab is looking like at about 200 KC. Uh, keep in mind the death rune and the chaos rune drops aren't in here. And, and then like when he drops just straight up coins, it's not in here too. But I mean, around 25 mil worth of loot, uh, not too bad for my first 200 kills. I definitely died a lot more than I would like to in the future, but that's what happens while you're learning the boss, so it cost me a decent amount of money so far trying to learn it, but uh, I'm excited to get some more kills. I'm just clearing out the tab here, and 200 plus, I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to how much I'm getting in drops, like per kill, how fast they're going, just to, I'm not really trying to get solid numbers yet, but get an idea of how much I am making here. Yeah, so here's what it looks like. It ended up selling for 25 milli, and I've got my cape and six extra Vorkath heads. Uh, one of them is the guaranteed head, so we'll call that my cape. So six heads and 200 kills. I'm, I'm ahead on those. I get it? Oh, just end the clip. So I just got 300 KC, or at least there it is. I was hoping for like a dragon bone necklace or something, but uh, n nothing of the sorts yet. Still getting a, a decent amount of deaths here. I, I definitely like to decrease it a, a little bit more but um so much better than my first couple hundred kills clearly nothing big in terms of drops or i would have shown it to you but uh it's going well it's going well currently working on getting my imbued god capes even though i already saw on twitter what the uh the new bosses looked like for major arena 2 here this is one of the cooler animations in this game this guy here derwin mr derwin i like derwin visibly shaking and burns to wait where is it Oh, Jesus! He's over here! Is that him? There he is! There he is! This thing is creepy. Sir, I have the final heart you need. This says excellent work. You just need to hand the god cape. Wait, to the pool? Yes? Okay, so my, for my first imbued cape, I'm gonna go for the Zami one. Yeah, buddy. This means I don't have to fight that Zami boss again. I'll go fight Sarah and Guth Guth in a minute. But, ooh! Got a new best in slot mage cape. I could just be done here, but I'll definitely go get the other two for fashion skate purposes. Why not? Why not? And I give him this. And we have the imbued Sarah Doman cape. Nice. Imbued god cape number two. That's a pretty dank looking cape. I do really like that one. Yeah, I'm good to go. Here goes my final cape. Final imbued cape. I kind of want to use this one on the max cape because it's the green max cape looks really dank, I'm not gonna lie. But at least for now, I now have all three 
imbued god capes. This one's pretty cool. I'll give it that. They all look pretty sweet. But I now have the best in slot mage cape. And I have fashion scape options for it too. That was a really good kill. Calqua tree seeds. No. Oh! <laughs> Oh, oh, it's not just Calqua tree seeds. There's a serpent sign visage in here too. Dude, hell yeah. It has been a long time since I've gotten any sort of unique from here because I haven't I haven't fought them in a while. In terms of tradable uniques, I have I have no idea what my last one was. So these are at 3.6, almost 3.7 milli. Um I've known that for a little while, but I think the most expensive unique I ever got was at like three mil at the time. So that's that's kind of freaking awesome, I'm not gonna lie to you. Thank you very much, Zora. Let's take this bad boy to the bank. And, oh! It's done! It's done! Oh my god! The next kill, 1768 KC. We have everything. I've gotten every single drop I can get from Corp. Or from, I'm not even fighting Corp. We were just talking about Corp. It's done! Oh my god, the jar of the swamp. I've never been so excited in my life to see a jar. Oh, the back-to-back -back Calquat tree seeds definitely did it. Last kill, um, as many of you saw, got a Serpentine Visage and some Calquat tree seeds. Next kill, Calquat tree seeds. And the jar. That's it. I don't have to fight this thing anymore. Oh, there's a jar of sand in here. Yes. Oh, I didn't even notice it until I right clicked and there was an extra item. A jar of sand. Oh, most people would hate this, but I needed one. I needed one. No way. Oh, let's just get out of here for a minute. That, that turns this into a pet hunt for me. That's the only thing I didn't have other than the pet from, from KQ. Jar of sand. Nice. That's two days in a row that I've gotten... Like a really awesome jar, which I've probably never, ever been able to say that before about jars. I can't believe it. I got my jar of sand. I did it. All right, everybody. Let's wrap up the episode as usual by checking out the boss log, seeing what we did in the episode. Uh, it's going to be a really scattered one. It's been a long time since I put out an episode of this series because of the road to max trying to finish up my cape. So <laughs> this is like a kill on almost every boss. What is this? Five prayers, I don't know when that happened, let's skip that. Uh, Zillianas, this was from a 24 hour stream, just a few solo attempts. I'm pretty bad at soloing Sarah, but I've gotten a little bit better. Bandos, this is purely mass kills, I believe. We had a few Bandos masses. Uh, in fact, there is a clip from this that uh, I could throw in real quick. Hey, hey. Urban Shadow. Oh, I didn't even have my prayer on and I hit a good hit. Oh, that was like, we each got one hit on that. That was by far the fastest kill. <gasps> Oh, who got it? He did it! He did it! Holy shit! No way! A lot of these bosses that you see kills in that you didn't see any clips from in the episode, it's just if nothing happened at those bosses, just from the minimal kills I got there, then I don't throw any clips in the episode. It just doesn't make any sense. Uh, solo Zammies. This is all- 35 is all solos. Uh, mostly from a 24-hour stream, then a couple attempts. It's all on task. I got a little bit better at- actually, it's probably one of my most comfortable solo God Wars dungeon bosses now, just from the few attempts that I did. Uh, anyways. I had a Dagonoth task, not much happened. Giant Mole, mostly mass kills, I believe. Not sure. Uh, again, not much happened. Calfight Queen, we did start grinding. In fact, I'm on that task right now still. I think I have like 70 more kills to get. Got over 700 KC, and we got that Jar of Sand, so we only need the pet there. We have an official pet hunt to Calfight Queen. KBD is mostly mass kills. This is actually uh, something that we masked pretty heavily over the past few attempts at, at uh, mass killing a boss, and they went pretty well. No Callisto kills rip. Venonatus is also mass kills. This is all mass. The Vedian camping trip is really nice. Also is now just a pet hunt, which is really cool. I would like to go back to Vedian pretty soon. That was, even though it was this episode that we did Vedian, it's been a while since I've been there. Those are some, those are clips from a while back. So uh, I'd like to go back there for sure. I don't know when I went to Chaos Fanatic. May have been a Slayer task, but why didn't I do 35? And Crazy Arc, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm sorry. Barrow's Chester from a 24-hour stream. Corp is partially from a Corp mass, and a few solos during that same 24-hour stream I did the Barrow's Chest. Uh, Zora, Zora, we're done. Got the Jar of Swamp, so we are out of there, 1768 KC. I still, you might see this counter go up a little bit, because I gotta grab some clips from Zora for a different video, but overall, like, that's, we're really done with Zora in the series. I might go back for, just for fun, I guess, but I don't really, I don't really plan on it. Jad, one kill, no pet rip. 
Kraken, I don't really want to talk about. Uh, Kraken, I got 140 kills. Sweet, there's no pet. Grotesque Guardians and Vorkath. This was the brand new content that I was going for. I guess Deranged Archaeologist was maybe brand new in here. I think I just haven't reset this one, Rip. I didn't get a lot of Guardians kills. It's about one task of them. I just haven't gotten... Uh, I think I... I don't know if I've gotten a Gargoyle task since. I think I may have gotten one and just did regulars. But um, I will go back and be doing Grotesques. This is definitely on the PBM goals. Same with Vorkath. I wanted to camp a little bit more. But um, I was using the Dragon Hunter crossbow, the price started getting kind of fickle, and I decided to move on. Because I was, I was starting to get a little burnt on Vorkath at 370 kills in a row too. So I think overall, a lot more Grotesque Guardians and Vorkath in the future. I am going to make those PVM God graphics on those two. Uh, possibly I'm throwing them on the screen right now if I decided to make them after I got this clip. And before I put the episode out. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Next episode we're probably looking, again, Vorkath and Grotesque Guardians might be a little bit heavier because they are newer, but I really would like to camp, uh, where was he, Vedian for that pet. KQ is what we're starting with because I'm still on task. And um, a lot of it always depends on what Slayer task I get. So that's going to wrap up this episode, everybody. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, resetting these streaks just in case, because some of these might even be me just not resetting them from an episode before. I know a lot of them are just from mass kills, but let me get this done and uh, start recording for the next episode. Hope you enjoyed episode 13 of the Road to PVM God. I'm going to wrap it up here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time.